Hello everybody. I'm very happy to present you today a study uh, performed uh, with uh, with some colleagues from uh, GAF, Wageningen uh, University and the GRC on the performance assessment of recent tropical forest monitoring products for Red Plus operational services. So let me um, start with the background of this study, which is about monitoring forest ch changes in tropical uh, regions, where there is important requirement for the UNFCCC um, on producing information on the reduction of deforestation and forest degradation, RED+. Plus. We really need uh, monitoring forest change activities at national level, but um, we need also the historical information and some recent situation. And uh, an important requirement is also to, to provide documented accuracy about the uh, activities uh, within the, the, the forest. And uh, recently there is um, quite advanced in Earth observation based uh, approach uh, for this tropical forest monitoring with the provision of, um, of different global pantropical data sets and an important data stream provided by the Sentinel satellites, both Sentinel-1 and 2, and also um, a provision of new pantropical uh, very high resolution coverage for calibration and validation. The framework of this study is, to, is the challenge um, of mapping accuracy, which is uh, in fact usually reported at large and global scale, and um, an issue of uh, diverging accuracy in dry and humid domains, and uh, complexity provided by the inter-product comparison, where the different um, classes have different definitions and different monitoring periods. So within this study, we focus on to design and implementation of an adapted approach to assess this performance on uh, some recent forest monitoring products, to define a common reference data set and a common approach, and to perform a cross analysis of forest status and change products. In, in the framework of the Red, Copen Red Copernicus projects, we have been um, producing uh, different data sets on some study sites across the tropics. And one of these products is the, the forest seasonality type, which is uh, produced um, based on the tree cover density product. Uh, uh, this product is derived from uh, uh, regression modeling of um, uh, Sentinel global mosaics and some training data and combined with a time series of Sentinel-2 imagery um, in, within the um, uh, classification, a random forest classification. So the output is a um, thematic map for his deciduous forests, evergreen forests and forests. On the other side, we have also um, the PFAS def, uh, which have been applied uh, here on um, as to the sites in Kenya um, with different steps of uh, pre-processing um, um, using a, a time series analyzing and um, in detecting these anomalies within this uh, time series. And, um, and further steps also about classification, calibration and modeling. Recently, the, this, uh, the tropical moist forests products have been released, um, which uh, in fact uh, provide information on forest status and forest change from 1990 uh, to 2020. And this is based on um, um, in image classification and, and uh, identification of potential disruption um, from different steps to provide the information on 
um, deforestation, degradation um, at Landsat level. And as a global reference, we have also the global forest changes, uh, which is based on Landsat time series analysis that has been produced uh, um, for a tree cover of 2000 and the, the forest laws from 2000 to 2020. So within this study, we have been analyzing um, this forest status uh, product. So we have here the um, three products with a common year of 2019 and um, aggregation of the classes from forest and non-forest. On the, the second step, we have the, the forest cover change uh, product based on also three different products uh, with a common reference period of 2020-2016 with a, a aggregated class from non-forest, ancient forest and forest cover change over the, this period. So this um, study has been applied on this study site located in Kenya Water Towers in East Africa. So in order to, to perform cross analysis of the different product, we have been perform a, a accuracy assessment uh, using a sample design of about um, 1000 points um, um, with uh, eight strata for the forest statues and, and 27 strata for the forest cover change. These strata have been derived from the combination of the different data sets um, and as a reference data set, we have been uh, using a visualization of high resolution and very high resolution, uh, firstly based on the NICFI planet mosaics of 5 meter, um, some Landsat uh, data for especially for the, the year 2010, and some uh, Google Earth imagery um, com uh, in complementary. And we have been producing um, the, the accuracy figure based on this uh, strata weight, uh, weighted uh, accuracy. So for the forest statues of 2019, the, the three data sets is FTI, TMF and Global Forest Curve. Um, for this, we have been um, uh, producing this accuracy uh, figure and we can see that the uh, we have a uh, high overall accuracy above um, 90% uh, and but uh, lower accuracy for the, the forest classes which can be um, um, low for the, the, the producer accuracy up to 75 and the user accuracy from 60 to 90 90% uh, when considering the forest cover changes, we have been analyzed these three uh, different projects, VFAS, TMF and GFC, so um, applied on the study area. And um, based on the, this uh, accuracy uh, assessment, we um, have identified that the, uh, we have high overall accuracy of above 85%. Um, but it's mainly due to the fact that we have a majority of the area it's um, based on um, non-forest or unchanged forest. And so the assist, assessing changes in forest cover it, it remain uh, the most uh, challenging with a producer accuracy about 70% and a user accuracy uh, from 35 to 70%. So um, we can see that the assessment of the, the performance of the, the forest management project is important as a guidance. And this recent uh, product better fit with the REDPUS accuracy requirement. For the forest statues, we have higher performance for with Sentinel-2 based products like FTI. And a forest cover change, we have higher performance with TMF, but an extension is needed for dry land. 
So this uh, kind of uh, study is very important for the design of new services like the uh, Copernicus mo monitoring services. And the next step of this uh, study is to replicate this analysis on other sites and also to analyze um, other forest cover change. I would like to invite you to, to go on our website and our geo portal to have uh, an, an overview of the different products. And uh, thank you very much for your attention.